have refused to disperse and will be placed under arrest on the charge of disorderly conduct. If you do not cooperate, I accompany the arresting officer to the of disorderly conduct. If you do not cooperate, I accompany the arresting officer to the I'm here because I think it's a real shame that students in this city have to learn from teachers who are paid poverty wages. I feel like we would have a much better education system if teachers were paired, paid a living wage. Uh, our adjunct faculty who have been exploited for decades uh, given uh, poverty wages and uh, hired from semester to semester with no job security. Well, 7000 7000 per class. That's actually like... The wage that we're making right now as adjuncts is about 45% of the wage that adjuncts were making at CUNY in 1975, back I think when the tuition was free. So, yeah. And uh, we're here, this rally is a great idea. I'm glad we're doing this. I think this, the civil disobedience action is important. However, I think it, we need to be really clear that this is not enough that you are not going to win the kinds of transformational demands that we're asking for by simply getting arrested by the police or by simply coming out to rally. Our power as workers lies in our ability to withhold our labor. And uh, if we don't use that power, we will not win. And the relationship between us and the boss is a power relationship. It's not a moral relationship. This isn't about, uh, we're not going to win through moral suasion. We're not going to convince them to give us more money. We have to use our power. And again, our power lies in withholding our labor. And that is the direction that this union needs to go. 7K or strike. That's the only way we're going to win this demand.